Hey, it was Adam Fotex, but now one here that I'm back. Right before I went to school, we have finally got word of the new rising star, and it's going to be a linebacker, and it's going to be Paul Warlow for the Atlanta Falcons. I got last year, Man 25 was a pretty nice budget card, so check him out this year. See how good he stacks up compared to other linebackers. So here's the Paul Warlow, already 16,000 coins and a price, so get cheap. Let's check him out real quick, see how good he actually is. Six foot one, 83 speed, not bad there. Low awareness and pretty good player condition, which is kind of kind of interesting right there. Uh, 78 strength, 85 block, shit, 92 tackle. Let's see how good this guy is, really, though. Go to the depth chart stats. We got our depth chart. Go to the back of the back and go down and see what he got. 63 catching, not too good there. Um, of course, 92 tackling, 84 jumping, not bad at all. Uh, let's see anything else on this guy's card. It's impressive. Uh, 87 pursuit, pretty good there. Uh, pretty good in zone coverage. Injury and stamina is kind of cool. And 84 hit power. Let's go ahead and compare this guy to Luke Keekley. 95. Not a fair comparison, obviously. But yeah, Keekley just dwarfs this guy in pretty much every aspect. So, Paul Wall was on a bad linebacker. I'm going to be putting up the elite card on the screen right now so you guys can see how he stacks up the Keekly. My guess is it's going to be pretty similar. Uh, speed's not going to be there, obviously, but this guy is going to be a nice little budget linebacker, especially when his price comes down around 5,000 coins. So, if you guys are struggling to find a good linebacker, maybe Paul Wall might be the guy for you. And before you guys collect the card, before you guys decide to go ahead and collect them two together for the 83 version, use up all the contracts first like i cannot stress that enough if you guys are playing solo challenges just use up all the contracts first and then combine them because you know why you don't get any coins for putting cards in collection with a lot of contracts on it so you might as well just go ahead and run them to the ground then collect with zero contracts and you'll have a new card with 25 contracts on it and you guys will not have to worry about buying any contracts because buying contracts this year is it's a sham i hate buying contracts i really despise the buying of contracts this year because it's so expensive and I'm trying to find better ways to go around not buying them, and that is the best way I figured out you guys can do that without actually wasting your cards. So, anyway, that's going to be the Paul Warlow. I really want to pick him up. I might pick him up. Here he is compared to Bobby Wagner if you guys want to see this. He's that comparison. Bobby Wagner is 83 as well. Um, better speed, better awareness. Uh, strength is not there. I'm pretty sure Bobby Wagner is a free. His strength would be higher than 72. Uh, tackling is the same. Play Rex is higher for Bobby Wagner. Blocks is higher for Paul Warlow. So, Paul Warlow can kind of blitz, whereas Bobby Wagner is more better in coverage. So, there's your line backer for today paul warlow and just for locking on today you guys will receive a 81 madden season it's madden season marshawn lynch pretty good card perfect timing because right now i have no halfback that i can rely upon i'm using d'anthony thomas and i'm using uh, another guy that's not that great so plus 92 trucking marshawn lynch should be very fun to play with 86 speed 87 acceleration pretty good carry as well i do hear this guy fumbles a lot with his elite card so that's gonna be an issue if he fumbles a lot in solo challenge especially the elite ones when it's all about field position and if this guy coughs the ball up that is not gonna be a good look but a nice 81 marshawn lynch for at least a week going to be using this guy until his contract run out and then he's going to go away forever but not a bad card not a bad free card like in this year the cards are actually useful uh if you guys didn't pay attention last year with man 25 they gave us like 80 overall rookie legends that really weren't that great like <laughs> at least these cards can kind of sort of be used on some people's teams especially like teams like mine who are doing solo challenges and it's better than pulling getting those rookie legends that have no value to them and are 80 overall and you can't really use them because your team's like 86 overall doesn't make any sense but that is your Marshawn Lynch.